No, I think ultimately um, performance is what really and truly matters. But I think if we're true to ourselves in the Caribbean, um, and if the players are true to themselves, I don't think we've had that sort of performance from guys where you can automatically choose the um, majority of your players. So I think based on, 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 on what we have is, is practically a choosing on, on, on talent and potential. However, I think, um, I think what is important for us is to ensure whatever group of guys is there, um, is to have a bigger pool of players like um, Mr. Haynes had, had mentioned before. Because of the limited of, of players that we've got, I don't think we have enough players in the Caribbean to say we can just dedicate a group of guys to white ball and, and red ball cricket. So that pool has to become much bigger. Um, of course, the players themselves would have to be able to, to improve because in international cricket, um, you need a lot of consistency. So, so that is something that we will certainly um, try and encourage the player to do, to become better and become more consistent. Well, I think ideally you want players, guys to be fit, but um, I think it's a, it's a board policy, of course, that we, we got to try and adhere to. But I think, um, to be fair to the players, I think regionally we need to do a better job in terms of keeping our players I think guys are contracted. There's no reason for guys who are contracted to the regional boards should be unfit. Um, so I'm hoping the, the, the board in itself, West Indies board in itself, will be able to put things in place where you have trainers at every um, regional team and, and ensure that players do more testing over um, the years.